is on a two-way contract with the Lakers. As we get ready, Skopensev and Baisley, and it comes right over to us in the booth and out of play. Thank you, Mr. Cumberland, Jaron, for not <laughs> diving into us. What he did defensively, blocking mm -hmm. shots. He had three block shots. He had the one fall where he sent him to the bench. Fortunately, he was okay and came back. But he did shoot 6 of 12 from the floor. That's so important for a big fella, especially when he's getting double team. Baisley gets hit in the face there, it looks like. So he's going to go down. Brown Jr. on the other gang gets the bucket plus the foul. Hopefully it was just maybe a poke in the eye contact issue, but he looks to be okay. Clark putting up some big minutes here, though. Good win from downtown. Dribbles it in. Nine-point lead here for the Westchester Knicks. Searching for that first victory of the regular season. Skopensev double-team Charlie Brown Jr. making them pay. Charlie Brown is already more than halfway past the points he scored the other day. He already has eight. Nice block by Skopensev. Lofton gets it back, but it's turned over top end right there. Washington in the game, trying to make an impact right away, and he does. Good win. Oh, he's trying to take over here tonight at Chase Fieldhouse. They needed some rebounding, though, so that's definitely something that he can bring in after his performance last night. Washington, the stag Euro, gets the bucket to go. Up top, Goodwin gets it to fall. Tough bucket by him, and now the shot clock is unplugged. Of action. Now we're at the second. Lofton back into the game, comes up short. It's Muhammad Brownridge alongside Bagley Smart in for the Coats as Jeffries gets fouled and gets the continuation. Jeffries was going downhill. He had Muhammad coming off of a screen by Skopensev. Westchester is the one determining the pace of this game. They're the ones getting out in transition. Jared Brownridge can do that, and in a way I would call that stopping the bleeding. 12-point lead here for the Knicks. Smart, oh, the fake and the make. Well, because Skipense didn't want to leave Lofton. Almost every single game for the Bluecoats. Good win, though. Trying to get things started out of the timeout. Lofton on the boards. He collects. And Skopensev just kind of stands there as Lofton will head to the line for the old-fashioned three-point play. Because he kind of gave up on the play. Oh, actually, no, he was trying to just take the charge. Alongside Goodwin on his team, who has 11. Brown has 10. Brownridge trying to answer, and he does with the slide on the floor. He's in defense of Brown. Charlie Brown Jr. driving in, and it goes through. And that's after he had the 19 and 12 assists. Obviously, he's been asked to be more of a scorer in this first half with no Ricky Council, no Turquavian Smith. However, you're joining us on DETV, NBAGLeague.com, Philly 57, or CBS Philadelphia.com. A tough drive and finish by Lofton. He wants the foul. Nevertheless, he gets the deuce. Timer winding down. Five seconds on the shot clock. Charlie Brown doesn't have clock recognition. Oh, he did. It's tough to win games if your top players are on the bench in foul trouble, but smart, able to get the floater to go. When a guy is <laughs> tall enough to not be having, like, in your space, it's a lot harder. Oh, blocked on the other end, a swarm of blue coats. Brown Ridge with the answer. And that's the kind of decision, catch and shoot. That's just the 10th turnover for Westchester, and I say it like that because Delaware forced them into 21 yesterday. Brown Ridge yet again, are you kidding me? The Blue Coats had in this game when they were up one point. Brown gets behind everybody on that play. The Blue Coats playing interesting sets on defense. Noel. Goes inside to Skopensev. Good pressure and help defense. Skopensev, though, having his way. Under five left to go. Lofton thought about firing. Goes inside to Bagley, who gets rejected by Jeffries. Harmon left alone, and his first bucket of the contest. 
And basically, Jared Brownridge might be here and Aaron Hook on the sidelines because he hits another big time three, but Charlie Brown Jr. there to answer. Blue Coats looking to push on the other side. And a turnover miscommunication by Baisley and Smart. The 11th turnover of the game for Delaware. Both teams taking better care of the ball. Oh, great pass. Toppin finishing the job. And that has been the connection right now. Smart. Nifty handles. Brownridge wants it. They'll give it to Baisley, who slams it down for two. Smart. Baisley. Takeaway here from Bagley. Blocked. Jeffries making sure he stays back. And Baisley is trying to get the takeaway. His team down by 11 all. Great feed. The finish by Charlie Brown Jr. Jeffries has the rock. Picks up his dribble. Brown Jr. penetrates into the cup. It works. Coming into these two games, there were five score uh, scoreless. There were five winless teams in the G League in the regular season. They now no longer are that. Westchester dribbles it out. They'll get the 10-point win. A nine-player Delaware roster gave it a really good effort, I thought.